GitHub now has certifications and I took GitHub Foundation certification this week and I passed. So in this video, I'm going to share resources and my experience about the GitHub Foundation certification. So GitHub launched four certifications that you can take. The first one is the GitHub Foundations. You have GitHub Actions, GitHub Advanced Security, and GitHub Administration. They were first launched for 200 US dollars, but are now 99 US dollars. And for a limited time, the GitHub Foundation certification exam is 50% off, which means it's $50 at the moment. And that is why once this was announced, I immediately booked my GitHub Foundations exam. And I saw this tweet on January 12th and I abruptly booked my exam for January 13th. So I almost had about 16 hours to prepare for the certification exam. Now let me share what preparation I did and what was on the exam and how my experience was. And if you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Rishab and this is Rishab in Cloud. Okay, so you can register for the exam through this link, which will be in the description. So resources.github.com slash learn slash certifications. And this will take you here and then you can register your already existing GitHub account to take these exams. The exam can be taken at home through online proctoring or you could visit a local test center. And this is through PSI. So for the certification guide itself, you can find a PDF exam study guide so going over the study guide, this exam is targeted towards GitHub users who want to validate their understanding of foundational topics, products, and concepts of collaborating, contributing, and working on GitHub. I won't go through the entire guide, but I'll go over the seven domains that were covered. So domain one was introduction to Git and GitHub. Domain two, working with GitHub repositories. Domain three was collaboration features. Domain four, modern development. Domain five was project management. Domain six was privacy, security, and administration. And the last domain, which was domain seven, is the benefits of the GitHub community. Talking about fees, so as I said, it's 99 US dollars for any of the certifications that I mentioned, but for a limited time, they're offering 50% off on the foundations certificate. And you can see that this is a screenshot from the order summary page and I paid 49.50. Again, this is in US dollars. Coming to preparation, I would like to highlight the prior experience is what helped me the most. As you know, I told you like I had 16 hours out of which I slept for eight hours because that was my sleeping time, right? Give or take, I had like five hours to go through the material or prepare for this exam. So I would like to emphasize that I have been using GitHub for four or five years now. Not all features, but you know, I do know the platform and I manage and maintain Learn to Cloud and the DevOps Guide and some other open source project which I contribute to. So I have experience with the project management, the issues, pull requests, things like that. So prior experience really helped me with my preparation. And then you have Microsoft Learn module to prepare for this certification. So you can see this is the GitHub Foundations and you have, I think 12 modules. And I was only able to complete 10 modules out of the 12 because of the time constraint, but most of it made sense. I think the only things that I haven't worked with were the ones that were challenging. So it was good to go through these modules. Like I worked with GitHub code spaces. So I know like dev containers and stuff, but things like inner source program by using GitHub, right? This I was not so aware about. And what are some of the best practices for GitHub administration and other GitHub products that do exist, but I haven't used. So these modules really helped me. So I would highly recommend go through the Microsoft Learn modules before you set the exam. So that was the only two material that I used to prepare. One is prior experience, which is not a material, I guess, but Microsoft Learn was my go-to. So the exam itself, timeline. So I booked the exam on the 12th of January. Oh, I have included a link to the tweet here. You can see that. Sitting my GitHub Foundation certification in 16 hours from now, we'll share how it goes. And then I also share the 50% off, right? And then passed it the next day. I think this is just me sharing this beautiful badge, right? So I love this, the badges that GitHub has designed. 
going over questions which I know a lot of you have been asking. So there were a total of 75 questions on the exam and then questions that I found challenging. So GitHub Copilot, some of the questions um, were about, you know, how GitHub Copilot was trained and like their enterprise plans. So that were a bit challenging to answer for me at least. GitHub projects, there are too many features within uh, the GitHub projects section. So, you know, you have boards and different automations that you can put in place to manage your projects on GitHub. So some of them were confusing uh, with the name itself of the concept or service and then looking at the answer explanation. So I got confused a little bit. And then the most challenging I would say was the enterprise. So you have the GitHub enterprise server and you have the GitHub enterprise cloud. And like, what are the differences, the main differences? Here, I vaguely remember some authentication questions and authorization questions. So, you know, you have SSO enabled. So you will get some questions about what you can do with teams and groups within GHES, which is the GitHub Enterprise Server and GHEC. So those were challenging. So make sure you have learned about these two offerings from GitHub. Score, they didn't really give me a score on how much this was scored out of. It just said I passed, right? And this is the score report, which I'm gonna be transparent, I scored 75%. So this you'll get in your email and you can see that how much I scored on each of the modules or domains, I guess. So the most I scored was on the benefits of the GitHub community. Again, since I am active in open source, I guess it made sense. Privacy, security, and administration was the least I scored on. Again, you'll get questions on authentication and what kind of authentication modes are supported within these two enterprise offerings. So I think that's where, you know, I lacked knowledge. Project management, again, 100. Modern development, I scored 62%. Collaboration features, 94. Again, I know about Copilot, I know about Code Spaces. Working with GitHub repositories, 80%, and then introduction to Git and GitHub, 53%. I don't really know which questions I answered wrong here, but yeah, so 75% and I passed the examination. Again, you get a Credly badge, as you saw on my Twitter, I guess, and I can show you with incredibly how it looks like. And it was instant. Like as soon as I ended my exam and was shutting down my machine or laptop, like I received an email saying that, hey, here's the score report. And then I received an email from Credly saying that, hey, here's your GitHub Foundations batch. So that was really quick. As far as time, I think you get two hours to set the exam. I completed mine in 63 minutes. So about an hour for 75 questions. So yeah, that was my experience giving the GitHub Foundations exam. If you're preparing for this exam, I wish you good luck and I hope you find this video helpful. And in order to support this channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This is Rishabin Cloud. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.